Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. It's a great honor for me to be the winner of the Deust Prize for the year 2024. I'm very grateful for the donation of this prestigious prize and especially thank all those responsible for donating it, especially Khaled Jamal Nur Sargot, and also Elif Erhan, who corresponded me always, have been in correspondence with me and informing me. I am also grateful to the Turkish Women's Cultural Association, Turkdat, the Karim Education, Culture and Health Foundation, for both establishing and founding and founding the Karim, the Kan'an Rafai Chair of Islamic Studies in the Institute of Advanced Humanistic Studies, IAHS, in the Beijing University. I was invited to teach in the above institute for four academic terms from 2011 to 2014, where I taught the following courses. And I was very much pleased because I had many, many excellent, excellent students. And also it was a great opportunity for me to show my knowledge because if you have knowledge and there is nobody, no student, it always remains in your chest, in, your, in you. So I had gave many, many courses, which I give a very brief description. First, I taught the Lava'eh of Jami with a commentary, translation and commentary of Jami's Lava'eh, which I wrote on the black paper, on the blackboard, and I explained to them word for word, and also I told them the theory behind, which resulted in new translation. I mean, there were many professors and some people from the Academy of Sciences, and it was translated in new trans. Of course, there was a old translation six centuries ago, but this was a new translation. Two, translations of Jami's commentary on the introduction of Eragis Lama'at, that is Divine Flashes, which also was published, was translated. Of course, it was the a, a introduction to Lama'at, about 60 pages together with uh, Jami's commentary. Three, a course on the history of Islamic philosophy to make students, let's say, acquainted with main problems of main philosophers. And some of them chose their dissertation on the basis of my teaching. Four, the fundamental problems of Islamic philosophy based on, on the famous book, Sharh Manzuma of Sabzawari, which is a well-known textbook, because students should know the main problems in Hikmah, not in modern sense, in Hikmah philosophy. Five, a course on the philosophy of illumination, Hikmatul Ishraq of Shahabuddin Sohrawardi. Six, two courses on Fusus al Hikam of Ibn Arabi. I wrote a short commentary on each chapter, 12 chapters, and was supposed to finish it in Iran. But unfortunately, I did not have time. But while I was there, I did it. And also I wrote a commentary, a short commentary with, main emph with emphasis on the main problems which are pertinent today because you can have the solution of many problems only through Sufism, theoretical Sufism of Ibn Arabi, and Sufism in general, not through only peripatetic philosophy or, or any school of philosophy. So I taught two courses on the Fusus al Hikam of Ibn Arabi with a short written commentary on 12 chapters. Seven, I gave a course on the Masnavi, Masnavi of Mawlana Jalaluddin Rumi. I wrote about 17, 18 chapters and it was published that is professor Tuve being the head of the institute told me why don't you publish them it's very fine and published and it's now it's a textbook in some universities in the united states and also it was translated into chinese i think you have seen that book it's called rumi a philosophical study 
with an introduction by Professor Said Hussein Nasr. Translation and commentary over 150 verses of a very well-known book on Sufism called Gurshan e Raz, The Rose Garden of Mystery of Shavasari. It's in 1,000 verses. It's the gist of Sufism, the best thing you can have in Persian about both theoretical and practical Sufism. Nine, I helped many PhD students who were writing their PhD or MA students who were writing their MA dissertations and I guided them as much as I could and answered to their questions. 10. I gave more than 10 lectures on different aspects of Islamic culture in different universities. They invited me. Of course, at that time, it was very difficult for a professor to be invited, but they invited me to different universities. Also, I presented papers in some international seminars in Beijing and Shanghai. For example, when there was the first Congress, World Congress on Silk Road, they were looking for somebody from the Islamic world to give a, an account of Silk Road in Islam, and I was chosen. And I gave a lecture, of course, I studied many books, and gave a lecture on the Silk Road as a keynote speaker. Uh, as it's, it, I, I told that it was not only, because they said that it was economic, I said that it is both economic, religious and cultural. It was cultural as well as economic, not only economic. And also, also, I did other things, which, I mean, takes length. So I really thank the Ken Anrefai for, and Professor Jamal Noor for establishing this chair of Ken Anrefai Islamic Studies in Beijing University. And I hope them success and I hope that this chair continues because uh, first I was teaching not only in Beijing University, I was also teaching in uh, Minsu University, which is a minority religions for religions, MA and PhD students, of which there were about 1,000 Muslim students. And I was teaching PhD courses, I mean the courses I mentioned in the PhD program. Of course, some uh, professors were uh, pre present too. And uh, it was a very experience for me too. I really like and I thank the uh, Professor Jamal Noor and also the uh, Refai Khan on Refai Foundation for establishing this chair and also for invited, inviting me for teach there. Thank you very much.